Hello and welcome back to another Train Simulator 2021 video. I'm Joe and today we are having a look at the Dovetail Games Cross City Route, recently released, i.e. released today for Train Simulator, along with this spectacular looking at Class 323, uh, which clearly they've not looked at the fact that, uh, yeah, we are embedded in the platform. So uh, that's a rail accident investigation report. Uh, that is needed there. One thing you'll notice first of all is that we have no tail lights on. I do not know what it is about Dovetail Games recently where they seem to be completely against tail lights. Every other add on uh, that's ever been produced by them, with the exception of this 350, uh, automatically has the tail lights on. I don't understand why, since like Trent in World 2, we seem to be anti tail lights. The only other uh, other company uh, that's made things, the only add on I can think of is actually the 321 by Armstrong Powerhouse and the, the 142 by Armstrong Powerhouse and wagons uh, that, that has, you know, no tail lights. You have to actually go put them on yourself. So we're going to do that first of all. Where are we now? Tail lights on. There we go. Spectacular. Splendid, nice and on. Very bright as well, you can clearly see uh, that they are on. Uh, we're at Birmingham New Street, as you can see, absolutely beautifully modelled. Uh, you know, not many people, just, you know, it must be COVID. You know, not many people at all. Uh, what's happening with this? Oh yeah, that, that's coming in there. Again, oh, is that the conductor? Member of staff, maybe. Looks like he's had a few to drink. Uh, you know, we've got the there's 323 coming in here. Splendid. 350s over here. Oh my goodness, more 323s. Bloody hell. That, uh, you know, there's a lot of 323 action around Birmingham. Uh, sadly, no Pendolinos. I imagine that... Uh, I mean, this is on quick drive, so I imagine they've not included any in the consist. So that, uh, obviously, you would, uh, you know, you would require those routes uh, in order for this to work. We have an F7 and F8. Uh, destination blind, you can hold that down. Uh, it takes absolutely forever for you to actually get uh, to where you want to be. Uh, so we'll just leave it on Walsall. I don't know where Walsall is if we're heading towards Walsall. Uh, my knowledge of the West Midlands is somewhat minimal. Uh, we do have, what have we got up here? Uh, lights off, lights on. So if we put lights on, uh, you, you can... Nothing happens. Where are we? Saloon lights off. Saloon lights on. Is that their rendition of on? That's not on. Well, that is peculiar. I mean, oh, the, the auxiliary on, auxiliary off doesn't appear to be working. I mean, these buttons are clickable. But uh, that's on, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I suppose. It's it's not exactly what you call earth-shattering, but there we go. Uh, and, of course, when you are in your passenger view, I don't believe it makes much difference. Uh, in fact, I would go as far as to say it doesn't. We've only got one seat here. We can't move seats, which, uh, you know, that that's fine. I don't tend to spend much time in the passenger view. Uh, the cab view. Let's pop the cab light on. Very nice indeed. Um, I've never actually been in the cab of a West Midlands 323. I have been in the cab. Oh. There, can we? Uh, that's the DSD going off. We'll just isolate that. Uh, up here, you've got a destination list uh, and a keypad that is not functional. So if you do want to change the destination, you are confined to scrolling through with F7 and F8 by the looks of things. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. Uh, we'll get some doors released. Now, uh, as you will have seen there, the doors release way too quick. Uh, and for some reason, we have a door closing hustle alarm when the doors are released, which is a little bit of a weird one. A little bit of a weird one, I'm not going to lie. And now when we're in the cab, we will get a guard buzz buzz. Don't know why, uh, why this door hasn't released at the front there. A little bit strange. And uh, the doors close too quick and uh, therefore the door closing hustle alarm 
Uh, the doors have actually all closed before the hustle alarm plays, which is a little bit weird. Uh, now let's get that cab light off and let's actually get going. So we'll put it in notch one because uh, we're, you know, 10 mile an hour out of Birmingham. And immediately you can hear those 323 noises, uh, traction motor noises. I'm surprised we don't have the, the simulated scraping of the train through the platform. Uh, that doesn't appear to be simulated. Uh, you just have to make the sound yourself. There we go. That's, uh, yeah, how do you like my scraping sounds? I feel it, it you know, it si simulates the situation well. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the model, look at that model, the 323, it looks brilliant. You can't deny it, we appear to be speeding. It does look brilliant, and everything Dovetail does looks brilliant. On the face of it, splendid. I'm not a lover of the fact that if you look on the front here, we've got 323231, and then if we flick to the back, 323205, we don't have a, uh, you know, a numbering system, which I find in this day and age in particular, a little bit disappointing. And so we're heading up towards Litchfield Trent Valley. We're heading out of the east of Birmingham. I'm assuming it's an east to west station or there and thereabout. Now as you can hear the sounds are absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know you can hear it's a 323. That's what 323s make. They go woo woo woo. You know that's what they do. And uh, you know you, you can hear woo woo woos. Uh, but sadly, they are not the only sounds. The sounds have problems. There are a lot of problems with the sounds for this. It's Dovetail Games. Of course the sounds are just badly done. Uh, they appear to be using the same sound department uh, that have been making sounds for Train Simulator uh, since the dawn of time. Uh, and they really do need uh, to be retired, uh, their sound department. And just let Armstrong Powerhouse do it, for goodness sake, they do it well. They, that is what they do best. Sounds and physics, uh, which sounds and physics is sadly never a Dovetail Games. Uh, it's never a Dovetail Games speciality. The artwork, again, big fan, love it. I mean, it's not completely spot on, but it'll do for me. You know, I, I, yeah. We have these up at Northern, they run the Stoke-on-Trents, the Crews, the, uh, some of the Liverpools, you know, they're, they're all over in, uh, in the North West. And I like it. I do like it. I don't think I like it enough not to refund it, though. I just find the train incredibly disappointing. The route, the route's brilliant, you know, I mean, look out the window, we, you know, we've got lots to see. Urbanised Birmingham over there. Uh, we're heading towards Duddeston now. Uh, I don't know if you watched the stream, uh, the, the train simulator stream. I did, uh, with Matt Peddleston and uh, Duncan, a wonderful uh, guard conductor uh, with uh, London Midlands slash West Midlands trains. You know, and I, I was super, super excited, but I did notice that when leaving every station, and I don't know if this was intentional or not, it might just be me reading more into it than what there is to read. But uh, Matt Peddleston accelerated. He went straight into notch four after every single station. And, uh, you know, this, it sounded fine. Woo, woo, woo. You know, it sounded fine. The stopping sounds, as you can hear in notch one, are a little bit odd. There we go. Uh, you know, it sounded fine. But look at what happens if you just put it in notch one. And I don't know if he didn't do this specifically so that it wouldn't do this on the live stream. And people would be like, oh my god, that's horrendous. But look at what happens. Any minute now when the doors are shut. Come on. In your own time. When you're ready. There we go. Listen to this. Notch one and leave it. Nope, we'll just move up so we don't get hit by the fence.
So the sounds are entirely dependent on how fast you are going, but the sounds don't speed up and slow down depending how fast you're going, you know, or how fast you're accelerating. So you end up with these gaps in the traction motor sounds, when in reality you just wouldn't get that. The traction motors would accelerate slower. Now, I don't understand why this was a problem for Dovetail, because they'd made a 465 and a 365 before where the traction motors would be slower if you were slower. You know, so surely they could have done the same with this. Now let's accelerate. We'll get it in notch 4, because when you're up to speed, I hear some recycled sounds from an Edinburgh to Glasgow route. Now, we'll have to wait while we're up to speed to see if you can hear that. But listen to the kind of run sounds that's been used here in the background. Does that not sound like the Dovetail Games and Thompson Class 170 accelerating? Does it not sound like this? Surely I'm the, uh, you know, I'm not the only one to hear that. It's a little bit weird. In fact, it's a lot weird. It is a lot weird. Way we've, uh, yeah, we've just been, just been hit by a train there. Look, yeah. You know, and you only get that when you're up to speed. So, yeah. I can't help but be incredibly disappointed with this route. I really. I mean, no, 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 that's not fair. The route is fine. The route is fine. It really, really is fine. The train is just not up to scratch for modern standards. It's really not. And it is such a shame. You know, they... I just wish that they would work with AP. You know, and if you can't get the sounds right, then it shouldn't really be released yet. Or... You know, when you... I mean, you heard the sounds then when you stop in. If you stop in notch three, which is the maximum amount of brake you can, then it sounds normal. And it does sound like a 323. You also only have the hazard lights lighting up on one side of the trim, which I do not believe is the case. I think the hazard lights would light on both sides. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure uh, the hazard lights light on both sides. But I am willing to stand corrected on that one. Let's get a picture. Because we need a picture, don't we? There we go. Get a bit of a picture there. Splendid. But if you accelerate in notch 4, straight to notch 4. Then it does sound brilliant, doesn't it? I just think it's a really nice idea. It's just very badly done. I don't like how the... Uh, you know how the the uh, tail lights are kind of doing that funny little thing they appeared to do now. The passenger view, I quite like the passenger view. I think it's good. They always do passenger views well, dovetail. They really do. It's got the correct style seating. That gorgeous London Midland maquette before they, uh, you know, before they started replacing it. The problem is, is that the interior sounds. You're in the middle carriage. The in middle carriage supposedly doesn't have traction motors in, but then you can hear traction motor sounds when you're in here. There's no, uh, there's no custom sound. It's the same as outside look. Which you would think that it would be the same as the cab, given the cab is indoors, but, uh, but sadly not. Now the route is priced at £24.99. You can have it for £22.99. I don't know if I've mentioned that already. Uh, I personally would not bother at this moment in time. I would wait to see uh, if the route is going to be on sale in the distant future. You know, if there's a summer sale on and this is maybe, what, 25 30% off, maybe 50% off, maybe buy it then when it's a little bit cheaper, but I certainly wouldn't be paying uh, £24.99 and pence for it. Um, I may be tempted to pay £24.99 for it when Armstrong Powerhouse inevitably release a enhancement pack. Uh, if you are watching Armstrong Powerhouse, you would make an absolute killing on that. Get some Northern liveries, the different liveries for uh, for London Midland, you know, West Midlands Trains, Centro. Wouldn't that be fantastic? 
you know, they would make an absolute killing from this. So if there is an Armstrong Powerhouse pack available, uh, then I would buy this, along with the Enhancement pack, but I certainly won't be driving this after this video, uh, simply because I don't... You know, you, you get some train sim add-ons, some bus sim add-ons, you know, you get some where it's an absolute thrill to drive, and this is just not the case. It's just not, sadly. Compared to what is available. I mean, this might be acceptable in Microsoft Train Simulator days, MSTS. I mean, what trains did we have for MSTS? Or what versions of the 323 did we have? And then you've got Open BVE as well. You know, so back in those days, this might be... You'd be like, oh yeah, this is really, really good. But especially for, for what AP can do now, it's just not acceptable, especially for the amount of money that they're charging. It's just not. It is a real disappointment. That's all I can say. Disappointment. It's the exact word. Oh, there we go. We've got the driver to guard buzzer. Which is quieter when you press it. I don't know if that's true to life of the 323. But yeah, this route could be so good. This train could be so good. And it's just disappointing. The hype that was there all this morning while I was waiting for it to be released has just gone. You know, and I'm just kind of left with this shadow of the former excitement that's just not particularly... You know, it just leaves a bitter taste in your mouth when you, you know, you're really excited for something and then it just... It just isn't what you thought it was going to be. Really disappointing. Really disappointing. Uh, anyway, that is where we are going to leave it. We will make a, uh, a stop in Erdington. Listen out for those 170 sounds. I can't be the only one that hears that. Surely you hear that too. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you disagree with me? Do you think I'm talking out of my bottom? You know, let me know either way. Have you bought this? Have you had a different experience? Or do you agree with me? Do you, uh, you know, will you be putting off purchasing it until a later date? Like the video if you did enjoy watching this video, even if you didn't particularly enjoy what I was driving. If you enjoyed my video, then of course please do click like. It helps me uh, more than you can possibly know. And subscribe so you never miss out on any of your favourite Train Simulator 2021 videos. You see, the sounds are just not there, are they? Until next time, cheerio, goodbye for now.